Good afternoon. Welcome to the Scheffler Group's booth here at the IMTS 2008. We've got some exciting products here today that we'd like to show you with myself, Ed Jungles, and Martin Schreiber. We're going to focus on a few of our key products today. What we'd like to start with today is a new product that we're pretty excited about. It's, it's our new hydrostatic dampening carriages. We've worked closely with the machine tool industries for uh, several decades now, and we feel we have a very good understanding of what is needed in the marketplace. And what we've done now is we've worked closely with some of the uh, world-renowned machine tool manufacturers to develop this product here. You can see here our standard uh, roller carriage, and when this is used in some applications, you will see vibration. We currently have a, an option available to us, the damping carriage, that will greatly reduce the amount of vibration that is seen in these machine tool applications, but it doesn't eliminate. So what we've come up here and we've developed again with some of the leading machine tool manufacturers, it's our new damping uh, hydrostatic carriage. And this product will be pressure fed, 100 bar, 50 bar per side for even distribution of the hydraulic fluids. And this will nearly, if not eliminate the dampening, the vibration issues. Now to visualize and quantify some of the information I just showed you there at that last table, we have a demonstration here where we'd like to show you how the vibration is greatly reduced or eliminated with this new hydrostatic carriage. You can show here with our display and you can even hear the vibration. This is our standard system without any damping characteristics. You can see up here by the graph the large bar of band of, of vibration that you're experiencing. We're going to show you the benefits of the hydrostatic cartridges. You can hear significant reduction in the vibration and you'll see here on the graph that we have a significantly smaller band. You won't have any chatter. You'll have a significantly better finished product. Appreciate your time on that and now I'd like to turn this over to Martin Schreiber who is going to talk to you about our new EDEM product and our direct drive motors. So I would like to uh, invite you to look at some uh, latest trends in machine tool technology, which is the incorporation of direct drive technology. What we have here is a directly driven rotary table to follow the trend for higher dynamics and higher speeds. So this is a cross-sectional view of a typical uh, state-of-the-art table incorporating the bearing, in this case with a measuring system and the direct drive motor which sits directly underneath um, the bearing. This uh, kind of design gives uh, the end user the capability to use the design space in the center of the table in order to get hydraulic supplies or pneumatics or electric cables right through the center of the table, uh, offering um, the capability uh, to save space. So if you look at the uh, application requirements, uh, as I mentioned, this is demanding for higher speeds and therefore for lower frictions for the bearing. And in this case, we have incorporated the function of measuring um, the uh, indexing of the table directly within the... Thanks for viewing this presentation of Siemens at IMTS 2008. For more information, visit our website, www.siemens.com slash PLM. Thermal balance inside such a rotary table to an optimum. So that means, for instance, avoiding temperature difference for the bearing between the outer ring and the inner ring. Therefore, we are not only supplying the bearings and the motors itself, but also offering um, sufficient engineering support in order to uh, evaluate the thermal situation inside such a table. As we have seen, uh, in order to support the trends of direct drive technology used in rotary access of machine tools, uh, the core components are the bearings and the direct drive motors or so-called torque motors. What we have here is, is we are showing the two basic designs which are available in the market these days. On this side we can see the um, internal rotor type uh, whereas the moving part of the, of the uh, drive sits inside of the motor. On the right hand side this is the external rotor design which means the rotating part of the, of the drive is on the outside. So within the same boundary dimensions, um, within the same diameters, the external rotor generates higher torque because of the enlarged radius where the torque is generated in a, in a, in a, in inside the direct drive. So the end user can gain the benefit 
to use the external rotor leading to higher torque and therefore for lower loss within the same boundary dimension and therefore for lower heat generation inside the table arrangement and as I have mentioned before the, th the thermal uh, balance inside such a table arrangement is one major issue um, to optimize table arrangements in machine tools these days. Thank you for joining us today here at the Scheffler Group at IMTS 2008, consisting of the ENA, FAG, and Barden products. Please join us at the Scheffler.com website to learn more about our products. Thank you.